What's up everybody? My name is Juan Marin. I'm one of your uh, IS bloggers for the Freiburg program. And today I guess I just kind of wanted to talk to you all about um, you know, kind of the, uh, the free time, the leisurely things that you can do in, um, in Freiburg and in reality almost all of Europe. The IS program gives you a lot of opportunity to travel, a lot of opportunity to have your own experiences outside of the IES program outside of your group of uh, people that you come with and outside of uh, the country itself. Um, I personally went on a trip to uh, Mallorca, to Spain. And let me tell you, that was one of the funnest trips I've ever had. In Mallorca, we, we've, we flew to Mallorca out of Basel. Um, that's, you know, in Switzerland. It's, honestly, it's a, a, an airport that's kind of, that kind of services Germany, France, and Switzerland. And it's really nice. It's was uh, an interesting experience trying to get through a German, French, and well, I guess Swiss, but German as well. The uh, so we flew out of Basel Airport and we landed in Majorca, Spain, in Palma de Majorca. Um, called up our Airbnb host and um, got into our Airbnb. I because I was a I'm able to speak Spanish. I talked to a lot of the uh, local people kind of figured out what was there to do, kind of figured out how I could get a driver to drive us to areas because uh, under the IES, uh, under IES we are not allowed, we're not allowed and supposed to drive. Um, but, you know, you want to be in another country, you want to be, you want to be able to explore it. So I asked around and luckily I was able to find a guy who would drive us around town or and drive us around the city. We traveled around Mallorca, we went to some observation cliff, uh, we, had, we thought we would be able to see the sunset, fortunately we weren't, um, but I got some beautiful, beautiful shots of the, of the sea, and you know, I brought my drone, and it was just, oh, gorgeous. Um, from there we, you know, traveled along, went to other beaches, I think we was able to find an underwater case for my phone, and you know, kind of film on the beach. And just some beautiful, beautiful cliffs, some beautiful scenery, landscapes. Uh, you know, you can see it in the drone videos here. And it's just beautiful, you know. This video doesn't necessarily kind of portray, you know, my feelings or like my my um, experience, my personal experience. I went with IES. IES gave us, uh, or provided an excursion to Kandersteg, a beautiful resort in... Berner Oberland of uh, Switzerland. Beautiful, beautiful resort. Uh, we were able to take the sky lift up to the top, more or less the mountain area where we, you know, hiked a bit and came across a valley with a beautiful, beautifully blue lake. And that was just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Probably a lot more beautiful than Majorca, let me just say that. Just the scenery, just the, the mountains, the trees, the green, the blue, the light. Oh, beautiful. I also went to Amsterdam. Amsterdam was a fun trip as well. I went with a couple of friends and a group of six. Um, this trip, we took Flixbus. Flixbus is probably the cheapest way to get around Europe. Um, but so we went to Amsterdam. We went to I went uh, with a group of six. Uh, we stayed in a, a beach hostel that was uh, on the east on the west side of Amsterdam. Beautiful hostel, it's a little small, but it was well worth it. We didn't pay a lot for it, you know, being a hostel and all. Um, and it provided us shuttles to be able to go back and forth from from Amsterdam, the, the center of Amsterdam. So we're on the west coast, and we're, we stayed in the center of Amsterdam. Or we stayed in the west coast, was able to travel to the center of Amsterdam, walk around, and take a shuttle back. Perfect, perfect uh, um, trip for us. You know, you check out the red light district, you check, you check the Van Gogh, the Anne Frank Museum, and so on and so forth. And there's just so much to do, and a lot of those things you can do for for rather cheap. You know, if you if you know where you can cut corners, where you can sacrifice a, a few luxuries um, I, I think that traveling will, will will be you will be able to travel quite often around here so I mentioned Strasbourg 
Um, Strasbourg, if you don't know where it is, is a little city that borders, uh, it's, you know, it's in France, but it, it's very close to the German and Fran uh, French border and easy, easily accessible by Flixbus. Um, the other option is once you're in Freiburg, you know, you will get a, a Regio card, which is basically a, uh, a card that pr grants you permission to use all of Freiburg's, uh, you know, bus and train line um, under a certain like group of uh, group of uh, companies, and you can actually get to the city that's right before crossing the border to France. Um, if you arrive in, you know, you have to buy the the Regio card, but it, it it's rather worth it because you can just travel anywhere that you want, um, or at least anywhere within that system, and it. it takes you pretty far. You can go all the way to Basel, Switzerland, all the way north up to Kelm, um, Germany, which is right next to the Strasbourg border. So perfect, easy way to travel, easy way to check out France if you if you are interested in that. And yeah, let me just tell you, Strasbourg is a very beautiful city. It's full of history, it's full of art, you know, it's, it's French. <laughs> So you, you get the little French amenities as well, um, but because it's also close to the German border, there's a lot of German as well. When I went, I uh, stopped at a cafe to get a, to get some breakfast, and and there I I, <laughs> I for some reason reverted to uh, reverted to German versus like English or Spanish, uh, which was you know good. I, I practiced my German a bit, and it came to a surprise that people there spoke German. Um, the cashier behind the counter at the cafe uh, kind of saw that I was struggling. It was like sprechen Sie Deutsch, and I was at a student's place. So I used instead of getting a hostel or getting an Airbnb, I found a website called YesStudent.com. Um, link in the description, where you can. It's basically couch surfing. Um, most places offer beds and so and and you know maybe like sofa beds and so on. They also offer couches. So, like I said before, if you're if you're up for you know sacrificing a little bit of luxury, a little bit of uh, some amenities, you'll be fine. You'll have a cheap place to stay. I stayed one night in Strasbourg. Cost me sixteen euro, which in U.S. dollars is about eighteen, give or take. But cheap. Had a roof over my head. My hosts were nice. They were amazing. Um, Strasbourg is a lot like Freiburg. It, it has a lot of uh, a lot of the same, I guess, architecture architecture to an extent. Um, a lot of the streets that I walked around on looked a lot like Freiburg streets. Um, they even have their own Münster. Um, if you're unfamiliar with it, we have a, what's called the Münsterplatz. Uh, beautiful old Gothic slash um, romantic. Uh, Hey everybody, so unfortunately the rest of this video got corrupted during the editing process and as much as I tried to salvage things, I couldn't get it to work. So thankfully, all that you're missing out on is the ending, my final words, and you know, the typical like and subscribe, uh, follow me on Instagram, and so on. So you know guys, thank you so much for watching, unfortunately this didn't work out as I had hoped. Uh, but do leave a like, please subscribe to uh, my channel, please subscribe to IES Abroad, and do give me a follow on both my personal Instagram account and my drone photography account, if you would. So thank you guys so much for watching. Keep following, keep keeping up, and hopefully this doesn't deter you from watching the other videos. So thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.